Why do you think that companies think it's cheaper to manufacture offshore? I think it's, it's simple. There's, uh, they, they have seen that, for example, in China, and I'll mention China because it's, you know, it's, the, it's the big example, uh, the wages there were typically, or the total compensation there was maybe a 10% or at most 20% of what it is here. And, and finally, wages, the total wages of both the direct workers and the overhead and the managers represent maybe half the total cost. And, and so if you can get, if you can knock that half down to uh, a, a tenth of that, you have a huge saving. So, so they just economically, that says it makes some sense. So people thought it was cheaper to manufacture. Well, in, in some ways, it is cheaper to, to actually the, the the price coming out of China can be cheaper. Let me add one additional thing. Another reason they believed it is because they saw so many other people believing it because they saw so many factories closing because they read so many articles about it. So if, if, if you're in an industry and all your competitors do it and they seem to survive and do well, you say, well, maybe it'll work for me. So, so but, the, but that's the price. So the price is going to be lower coming out of China for, for most things. But the whole idea of the, uh, uh, the basis of the reshoring initiative is to show the companies that that their total cost of ownership, the the the, the total impact on their P and L and their balance sheet, is not s just what it appears from the price, but when there, when all the other factors are considered, that price difference often goes away, and they find that it's in their interest to bring the work back.